So Alcatel brought yet another premium looking mid-range phone to the market in the form of the Alcatel Shine Lite. Now interestingly there is no Alcatel Shine without the light, but we're here at IFA so let's take a look at what the Alcatel Shine Lite can do for you. With the Shine Lite, Alcatel is trying to bring a premium look and feel into the mid-range and for 199 euros this phone is indeed quite good looking. It has 2.5D dragon tail glass both on the back and the front with a fingerprint reader thrown in as well, which is pretty rare at this price point. Color options include white, gold and my favorite, a bluish black. The frame is a solid feeling metal one with comfortable rounded corners, which actually reminds me a lot of a Samsung solution. The display is a 5 inch 720p unit with satisfying colors and contrast. As a bonus you will also get a white notification LED over it and just to the right of it a 5 megapixel selfie camera with a front facing flash. That should be plenty good for that price too. The rear camera is a 13 megapixel one which is pretty much standard for these days. The Shine Lite runs Android Marshmallow with an interface that is fairly close to stock Android and while it handled the UI quite well, I would expect the entry level quad core MediaTek CPU to become a performance bottleneck even with daily use despite of the 2 gigs of RAM. On the other hand, the 2460 mAh battery and the 16 gigs of expandable storage seem decent enough. Overall, the Alcatel Shine Lite is probably ideal for people who want a good looking phone on a budget that doesn't look like all the other generic mid-rangers in its class. Consumers looking for performance should look somewhere else, but the design, the build quality, the cameras and the fingerprint reader all make this a decent looking device. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more and find me on social media too. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.